So President Trump has given his first coronavirus task force briefing since April, so there definitely seems to have been a, a shift in his narrative uh, when it comes to masks. Why do you think that is? Well, let, first let's address the reason why it's been two months since we've last heard from the president on the coronavirus. It's because the, they found that it was actually not helping the president's message by having him give these daily briefings. If you remember, we haven't heard from him on a coronavirus briefing since he suggested injecting Detol. Now, the mask is issue. Now, it, it's a peculiar American idiosyncrasy that somehow the wearing of a mask or not has become some kind of totem pole in the so-called culture wars. If you're a liberal, you wear a mask. If you're a freedom-loving conservative from a red state, you don't wear a mask. Now, the president's been very clear since the beginning of the pandemic that he's not personally been in favour of himself wearing a mask, and he's always regarded the need to wear a mask as voluntary, and he's encouraged many state governors um, to lift mandates uh, on the wearing of masks. So why don't you suddenly just turn around? It's a simple answer, mate. It's the election. Mm. Even more, to be more precise, it's polling. You know, 60 to 70% of Americans don't trust what he tells them about the coronavirus. 34% uh, of people think that he'd be better than Joe Biden, his presidential uh, uh, opponent um, in the elections, at handling the coronavirus. There has been terrible external and internal polling in his campaign about how people are viewing the way that this president is handling this pandemic. And at last, he's had to give in to the pressure. At last, politically, the oil tanker has shifted as his red conservative states themselves have become awash now with coronavirus. The states that opened early, the states that didn't have masks, well, they're hitting record numbers, sadly. My